Hey, I was hoping you'd catch up to me. I hadn't had a chance to thank you for tipping me off about the GCPD. I didn't expect it. You really saved my ass. If it wasn't for you, the cops would have gotten the drop on me for sure. Don't expect it again. I put a lot on the line for you. Then I'll have to find a way to pay you back. The laptop. I need you to hand it over. You proved your point. Quite the coincidence that we find ourselves here again. What do you mean, again? We're on top of the mayor's old office. Harvey's old office. Feels like a hundred years ago, doesn't it? Since we had our first chase. So much has happened since then. Yeah, it does. That's the night I saved your life. First time I saw you. We had something then. Same as we do now. A give and a take. <laughs> you want it? Take it. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? <clears throat> Oh, come on. That was fun. I bring out that wild side of yours. The one you like to keep stuffed down in that suit. The side of you that's just aching to break free. Yeah, it's a little crazy. But isn't that what you like about me? We both like to live on the edge. It's where we find each other. Maybe I liked it once. But the bad girl act. It's getting old. And your good boy act is so fresh. Well, have a good night. Selena. Why'd you do it? Run off at Riddler's like that? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. For what they did to him. For what he did to you. And just, what are you offering me in return? You're a man of many resources. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Okay, Selena. I'll give you what you want. And what is it you think I want? Something meaningful. With someone who has your back. I've had you already. But who knows? I might be up for a repeat performance. Just promise to work with me. I'll stop playing games. We've had our fun, haven't we? And it seemed like, for a moment at least, you wanted more than that. I came back to stop Harley's so-called pact. The Eddie I knew would have wanted that. Anything else? Us? That's just icing on the cake. No pressure. Really. I'd say it's time to find a black site, partner. 
We'll probably need our own supercomputer to get into his laptop. But something tells me you might know where to find one. Come home with me. What's at home? You'll see. I thought I'd seen it all when I found you hanging with the sewer rats, Bruce. This place... It's really you. Rich men and their toys. Only thing missing is a wet bar. Just don't get too comfortable. I wasn't planning on moving in. It does seem a little... lonely. I know how hard it is to let people in. The fact that you've done that... It means a lot to me, Bruce. I didn't give a damn about anyone else until I met you. You're a bad influence on me. I didn't care about anyone either. You? The guy who saves people for kicks? It's not the same thing. No. No, it's not. Well, aren't we a pair? Unfeeling monsters hiding in the basement. <laughs> Being here, with you. I came back to Gotham for a little redemption, but I didn't expect to find it next to you. It's nice. The way I feel around you, like... Like I can be better. Do you maybe... Feel the same? I'm gonna kiss you now. Is that what I think it is? What is my stuff doing on display in your cave? Alongside mementos of the psychopaths you've locked up? Not that you're normal by any stretch of the imagination, but... And there I am, right next to Harvey Dent. This has got to be good. It remind me of you. Is that such a bad thing? Uh, did you... want them back? Hold on to them. They look kinda nice there. Tea for two is served. Alfred, thank you. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Access granted. Bruce, whenever you have a moment, I have something to show you. The back computer will scan for viruses and other safeguards before we can have access to the data.
I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. But, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. Uh, at any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because uh, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I'm impressed you felt close enough to someone to welcome them into the Batcave. But I'm curious to know why. What is it about her? Not that I'm judging, mind you. She's important to me. I thought as much. Good for you, Bruce. This is a big step. <sighs> it's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. I shall be upstairs if you need me. Good luck. Look at all this data. Finally, something we can read. Let's see what he knew. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. <laughs> Patient 844. 10 milligram injection of 0.015% solution. God, what is that? Human test subjects? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look at these manifests. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. A biological weapon. This is what Harley wants. Agency. The agency. Don't you work with them? Amanda Waller. She runs the agency. Sounds like you owe her a phone call. Bruce. To what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce? What on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... Is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the black site. Hiding in the middle of Gotham at the Bodhi Spa. Okay. Okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. I'll tell you what I know. Harley was asking if the goggles are ready. I'll go back to the subway. See if I can keep her busy. Thanks, Selena benefits of partners. Be safe, Bats. You too.
Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but... You only have yourself to blame for this. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Now, now! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. I look to you for answers, for comfort after my father's death. Instead, you're running with a new crowd. Criminals? I hope you understand why I had to do this. It makes me question everything you've told me my entire life. Look, I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. You did what you had to do. I don't blame you. Okay. I'm glad you can see it that way. What in the... Director Waller?! Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. And when you do, there'll be hell to pay. I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Save it. Officers, I... please. He's involved! He belongs in a cell! This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power, and you know it. Waller! I said... Don't do dismissed. this! Dismissed. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. We'll make sure Gordon leaves, and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand how you got tied up in all this. The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing... It's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous. But there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but you're just... Bruce. I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. Got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad... I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. 
I'll see you soon. That's what he meant. That was the mission. Your dad was a hero. Your dad believed this city deserved better. He believed in me. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. With dad gone, maybe I can still help if Batman is interested. It's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. The way things are going right now, he could use a little help. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or, failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with Black Ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst-case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. I'm not afraid of this, Waller. Sanctus facilities have top-of-the-line security, armed guards, surveillance, God only knows what else. Just to let you know what you'd be walking into. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox, but a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. You two can't be serious. Harley, Bane, Freeze? No, they can't be trusted. We don't have to trust them. We trust you. Look, for now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good.